Hello, I'm Christopher Kennedy, and welcome to Grade, Correct and Finish with Color Suite. And we're going to look at the Cosmo plugin, which helps to improve the appearance of skin in your film and video. You can see here that the actor isn't wearing any makeup, and we want it to look as though she is wearing makeup and has been perfectly lit. Well, Cosmo can do that for us. Sometimes all you need to do is apply Cosmo and the job's done. It recognizes the skin tones and it softens them just the right amount. And that's the case regardless of skin color or ethnicity. So it can be an instant solution. But skin tones don't always look the same. It depends on the lighting conditions. And the quality of the skin can be very different depending on how close you are, how far away you are. So you need to know the inside workings of Cosmo to get the most out of it. And the way this is ordered is a little unusual. It gives you the controls at the top for affecting the appearance, but really you need to select the skin first of all. And that's down here under skin soften fine tuning. I don't really consider this fine tuning so much as actually finding the skin in the first place. So we'll check show skin selection. And you can see there it grays out everything that it thinks isn't skin. It's done a pretty good job. It's recognizing some of these highlights in the background as skin. And if we just switch it off, we could say, that doesn't matter. I'm going to turn the plugin itself off, and you can see it's just softening that background slightly. But given that it's a blurry background anyway, that doesn't really matter. So with the plugin switched on, I'll show skin selection again. But you'll see that some of the dress is still selected there, some of the yellow dress, just the edge of it. So I'm going to turn the skin finder down. And when I do that, we're getting a little more skin, but the eyes have also begun to show. So I'll undo that, and instead I'll turn the skin tolerance down. And the problem there is that it's hiding some of the skin on her face. So what you're trying to do is balance these settings against each other, the skin finder and the skin tolerance, until just the skin is selected. So I'm going to try turning the skin finder down to a negative value and the skin tolerance up a little higher. And you can see there that's still not absolutely perfect, but it's better than what we started with. So I'll now turn show skin selection off. And you can see now that really the filter is mostly affecting just her skin. It's worth moving to a later point in the composition and choosing skin selection again, just to see if those settings are working all the way through the shot. Now we can look at skin color, skin squeeze and skin soften. You only need to use the skin color slider if the skin color has changed by accident. So sometimes when you apply Cosmo, the skin becomes a little bluer or a little redder. If I drag skin color down, you can see there the skin's getting redder. So if the skin was too blue, I could do that. If I drag it to the right, to a higher value, it goes a little green. So if the skin was too red, I could do that. On this particular clip, a setting of zero looks just about fine. You can use this as a minor color correction. If I just wanted to flush her skin a little, I could just set that to minus 10 or so. And that just brightens the skin a little. Skin squeeze reduces the contrast in the face. So any colors that are close to a skin color will be made to look more like skin. It's set to 25% by default, and that's generally the best setting. If I turn that right up, you can see it flattens the face out. And also, it started to affect other colors in the image. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to avoid that and just apply the effect to the face. But even if you ignore what it's done to the rest of the image, turning skin squeeze up so high has really flattened the face quite a lot. If I turn it down to zero, you can see there's all the original contrast that was there. And that doesn't really help with the effect we're trying to achieve. 25, it just softens it out. Skin soften is set to 25 by default, and very often this is all you need. Using Cosmo requires your judgment. If you turn skin soften up to 100 and say, we just want the effect to look as powerful as we can, things start to look very plastic. Her face now looks blurry and washed out, and that's not the effect you want at all. You're only trying to make it look as though the skin has been made up well and lit well. Even when you're going for a naturalistic look, when you can, you use great makeup artists and great lighting. When you can't, this is a good solution. But start with a low value around 25, and only turn it up if you feel you need to. If you think that skin looks good, you can switch the filter on and off to check, then stop there. You don't have to turn it all the way up. Although you might be tempted to get rid of every blemish, skin does have texture, and you don't want to remove all that. You don't want people to look like they're wearing masks. So for this shot, I would leave that at 25. And going back to the controls at the bottom, we also have this detail setting. 
By default this is set to 50 and it just adds a little bit of sharpening after the main work of Cosmo has been done. And this ensures that details such as the lips and eyes and even some of the texture of the skin itself remains. So although the general blemishes should be removed and the skin tone should be softened overall, the idea is that some sharpness will remain and the skin should look like skin. You can turn this value up all the way to 500 but be very careful of doing that because it adds a lot of sharpening. Now on some footage that can be exactly what you need, it'll bring back the eyelashes and the teeth and just those details that might have been knocked out by Cosmo inadvertently. But generally settings of no more than 100 are ideal. The only way to find out is to test it on each shot. But it's worth noting that if you have a sequence of shots, it's best to try and use the same Cosmo settings on all of them. If I'd shot this actor from five different angles, then I would copy this filter and paste it onto each of the other clips and then just make tiny adjustments. And that way you're getting the same general look on every single angle. So sometimes all you need to do is apply Cosmo and the job will be done. Other times you'll need to work with the settings. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can do this even on really difficult footage.